Friends, through the days of our Lenten mission, we journey through the mysteries of the Holy Week. And we identified the meaning of the mystery as not something so complex and difficult to comprehend as some kind of foreign notion that we can get lost within, but rather we identified a mystery of this Holy Week as an, an event, as an encounter, as a person. We journey along the way, reflecting and, die, and we dived in in the mystery of a person, Jesus Christ, who provides all the reason and meaning for us to gather here tonight. To encounter Jesus through the, ministry, through the mysteries of the Holy Week, in many other words, is to encounter God and to be His special people. To encounter God is to dive in and to obediently and joyfully follow in the footsteps and commandments of the way of life that he paved for us by such a powerful example of offering everything that we are, that we need, and we are going to be. We talked about this idea that from the very beginning, from the moment of creation, God entered into a union, a communion with his people. He desired to provide the most and the best for each and every one of his creation. And somehow, through the pages of our own lives, we tend to, I don't know, overlook, undermine, take it for granted, get lost and confused in this world of this world that provides and offers so much. And the decision oftentimes takes us out of that companionship with God on that journey of life that leaves us left, unfulfilled, used, abused, and kind of to our own. But the mystery of that person doesn't stop because we choose to walk away. Actually, the story that we read in today's gospel paints the picture that is quite contrary. Is that assurance of the loving God who doesn't stop no matter where we find ourselves to be, it is his prayer and his desire that somehow, some way, the Spirit of God will touch our hearts to return back to our own senses and to realize that the place for us to be is to be in that communion with God who desires and provides the most and the best. Tonight, friends, we all came together, wherever we were, to benefit and to receive that grace and mercy and love and compassion of God so He can provide and satisfy all that we long for. And there is no greater longing to remain and to be and to rejoice that companionship with God and with one another 
with purity and honesty of our hearts. Because the heart is made and created for God. In that heart of our own, everything is experienced. It is when the presence of true and loving God dwells. It is the place when we truly discover the mystery of Jesus Christ, who for all of us believers is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen.